on the previous video of this series of the project about how to make the Ivo robot move with ROS, uh, we achieved to send a ROS message containing a join position to the Ivo simulation. But the problem was that we should know which uh, values we had to send to the each one of the joints in order to make the robot perform a nice movement. So uh, this is very difficult to uh, is complex so hopefully uh, sonic when ivo was alive created uh, some files that are called ivo motion files those are files with mtn extension and those ones contain already made beautiful movements for ivo like for example walking movements or dancing sitting standing up etc so what we are going to do today is to see how we can send those kind of files to the uh, ROS control IVO version that we have. Okay, so let's go for it. For that, we are going to use the ROS development studio that you can access at rds.theconstructsim.com. Please go now, create a free account and start doing the same thing as I am doing so you will be able to reproduce my results. So what I'm going to do now is to create a new project. We're, let's call it, for example, um, make it, making I will work with ROS, for example. And as it's private, as a description, so uh, different packages to make I will work with ROS. Okay, so created success and here we have our project. Let's open it. So we open and then the first thing that we are going to do is to clone some code that I have already created for uh, making this possible. So then I'm going to show you how this code works. Uh, you can access this code by going to this public read that we have is using Ivo with ROS. I will put the link of this beneath the video. Okay, so don't worry about that. So I'm going to copy the address here. And now let's go and clone it here in our project. For that, uh, where do I have to clone it? Okay, let me open the IDE called Cloud9 here. And here we can see that we have three different workspaces. The one that we are going to use is the CADKIN workspace because it's the one that contains ROS nodes. This one is for notebooks and this one is for simulation specific definition of simulations of Gazebo. So now we are going to do some ROS code. So we need to go to the CADKIN workspace and put it here inside the source, of course. Okay, so for that, I'm going to open a shell and then just do the, the clone. And I have to go to the Calkin workspace source and here do the clone with the address that I have copied before. And here it is. Okay, so, so far so good. So we have the code here. Yes. Now, uh, so let me show you. Basically, I'm going to include here more and more code as this project goes forward. Okay, so now the only thing that you have is this using Ivo with ROS that contains a single ROS package, moving Ivo. Okay, inside here you can see several directories. The first one is the config that contains a series of MTN files. This, those are the files that I explained you here before. Okay, so the contains motions. And we have dance, uh, different dance, a standing position, walking, etc and they have an MTN extension. You can see that I have two here with MTN um, underscore ROS. Those are files that are copies of this one, but that I have transformed in order to make it easier for us to read from a ROS program, okay? So how did I have transformed this? By using a tool here. This tool, it's uh, it contains here uh, in this directory we contain this tool that is composed by those files three files the first one is the main that is the main program that loads 
uh, file, an MTN file, and then transforms and converts into ROS. This file was created by Sony. I have modified it a little bit for our ROS inclusion of our ROS code. So this is the one that we are going to call. Then we have the MTN file that basically it's a class that defines several functions that allow us to open an MTN file following the structure defined in this format. Okay, so this is how an MTN file is, is a structure, contains the different parts uh, that define a motion of the robot. Okay, so I have, uh, sorry, I have uh, selected this. Let me put this a little bigger so we can see better. Yeah, and I have uh, got these files, these libraries from Sony itself and just added the small parts here that allow us to convert into ROS format and basically what it does is it's reading all the frames because uh, an IBO motion is, is made by different frames that are the different positions that the robot has to have for each joint in order to produce the movement so uh, basically we are reading this and just writing in a plain text file that contains number of the join a value number of the join a value for each frame this is the name number of the frame okay number zero frame one so then what we are going to do first after this this conversion of those mtn binary files into this um, editable character files then what we are going to do is to read the values of each frame and then send it in the same way as we did on the previous video okay so um, the basically is this so in order to compile you, you we have to compile this file this program to convert files so for this let me open a shell here another shell and go to the cat king workspace uh, source moving ivo um, using ivo moving ivo and tools and here i yes i have i haven't created any cmake or else whoops sorry so i can access this here yeah so um i'm going just to compile directly with uh, g plus plus because it's the only thing it's very simple program, so we don't need anything fancier. Files, let's see. then let's say convert to ROS uh, minus O. Okay, so here we have our convert to ROS utility and has been compiled. Then we need to, let me just move this in a different way because I'm getting a bit difficult to change from one to another very quickly okay so uh, here we have and the tool is here okay convert to ROS here so now I just can call it with any of those files here in the config for example I can say um, uh, convert to ROS and then the files are on a superior directory then config and then let's say C dance for example and there it is so now the sit down has been converted into a ROS format okay so far so good so we have that now now that we have this already explained so you can have a look at this program but basically it's just reading one format and writing into another that describes the joints in the way that we want for our ROS program so basically it's just that so I'm going to close this and this and this so now let's concentrate we have those files okay so let's concentrate on the node that is going to open and make the IBO move and it's this one that I have called test for now okay maybe later in as the pro 
project progresses, maybe we'll change this. And if you remember, this is the program that we used on the last time with uh, the last video, but with a small modification. So I have created this function that returns to poses. Now uh, that contains the poses that uh, we used on the previous video. And now I have created this file, this uh, function that reads a file. This file is the files that we have created here. See, dance, empty, and ROS, for example. And what it does is to read the file and then generates all the poses like this that need to be sent to the uh, IO in the sequence that is required and with the frequency that it's required. By doing this, we can just get this poses list at, and the rate and just get this and send it to the robot, to all the joints. So basically that's what the main program does. After an initialization of the node, then it reads the motion file that we have created. In this case, I have hard-coded this one. You can modify this to accept, uh, a, for example, a parameter with a file. So uh, in this case, we are going to test this one. The walking forward that is this file here okay so um, you have that then uh, well after some information that is printed what we do is we create this rate that is the rate indicated by the motion file here this is the function here this is the definition of the function that reads the file and extracts all the different sequences frames that we need to send to the robot okay so basically this function here is reading from the file and generating many many different poses one per each frame like this so and this is included into this pos poses list so we receive the poses here and then after this we go to this while, non-ending while, that what it does is um, creates the join mover object that you know how to do it because we did it on the previous video and publishes the pose. The pose is a frame. Uh, so it's a, it's a mm, it, yeah, it's one of the frames that we have obtained here from the list. Okay. So here we are sending the current frame that goes from zero to the number of frames that the number of frames we have also extracted here from the motion file and then when the number of frames reaches the maximum that is this case then we start again with the zero so we repeat endlessly in a loop this so that's it the most complicated part here was to create this converter that allowed us this to create this converter that allowed us to read the files and then find a way to to convert the joints from the original IBO description to the ROS description that we have done it. But it's a very stupid program, so you can just use it, and that's all. The interesting part is the ROS part, of course, that is this one. So uh, th basically, we are doing here using the same program. That is this one IBO join mover object, publish post, that we used on the previous video. But now instead of sending hard coded poses like this, we are setting, sending a series of poses that we obtain from a file that is an MTM file. Okay, and now the most important part you want to see how it works, of course. So let's go for it. So let's launch the simulation of IBO here. And let's see how it works. So for that, just come in here. And once the simulation is open and running, I will do a ROS run of the, the program. That is on moving IVO, moving IVO, and then test.py. So here it is the IVO simulation. Let me close here and find where the IBO is, it's around here because uh, some other things in this simulation, uh, there it is, the IBO 
okay so let's see how it moves okay by launching this just run moving ivo test by okay let me just put it in some other way so you can see the command better yes okay let me close it and just run moving ivo test by okay let's go so here it goes and here we have an error okay uh, no such file yes of course because i had coded that and in order to go faster so let me just change it again so where is this uh, actual tool it's because i changed here the moving ivo is not that so let's go and see it's uh, using ivo with ROS and then moving Ivo config yes okay so yeah next versions of this code uh, will do it better okay uh, so now is time is is short so we have to go fast then let's run it there it is red and then here it goes the Ivo moving the joints trying to do a walking movement okay but as you can see yes it's coordinating the different frames and the different legs we're trying to do kind of a walking forward but uh, still the movement is a little bit strange okay so it doesn't look like perfect because i i know how the ivo robot should work should, should move by doing this kind of walking so what happens here so it looks like there is a problem in the simulation of the robot and i think i suspect that this is due to the config parameters of the controllers that we have in here where is it this if i remember oh okay so it's in the simulation yeah so we don't have it here because we just launched the simulation so uh what we are going to do is by now we do this to experiment with the other files that i have included here so just try to convert another one and launch another one or uh, for example let's launch this um seed dance seed dance that i have just converted before and then your for your homework is to try the other ones and see what's happening so Maybe if you have any idea why this problem is happening, I suspect that are the PID values of the controllers for the joints. So that's what we are going to analyze in the next video. Okay. Before that, let me launch this new file and let's see what Ivo does. Okay. So this is the initial position. So that's why it's so it's so sudden because it's supposed that you have to launch the sit downs from a uh, seat position and there it is it's moving it's doing something with the head but it looks like very slow so maybe also we have some problems with the frame rate we'll have to analyze this okay so uh, this is the work that we are going to do on the next video and this is a typical project of raw so you, you never do this very good at the first time but that's it for now so please try the other uh, files also analyze your in, from your side what may be not working with the ivo robot and let me know if you have to please post on the comments of the video and if you like this kind of video please subscribe indicate that you like and press the bell so you will be notified when we publish this uh, new video by the way it's going to be the next week okay so we are going to publish one of the ivo series project every week so cheers and see you on the next video